Bacteria need a harder punch through prescribing antibiotics, but we also need to limit our body's resistance to these powerful drugs. Especially at certain times of the year, I often get asked by my patients, What's the difference between bacteria and viruses? Both bacteria and viruses are examples of germs that can make people sick. The common cold, upper respiratory infections, coughs, these are all typically caused by viruses. What's cool is your body can fight off a virus for you. You could use an over-the-counter medication to help manage the symptoms, but prescription medicines usually won't help. That's because your body can handle it. On the other hand, we have bacteria, which are organisms that cause more severe illnesses and can only be killed by special drugs called antibiotics, which are prescribed by your doctor. If you take an antibiotic when you don't need it, like for a common cold symptom, you're not helping your body, you're actually hurting it. Taking an antibiotic when you shouldn't be can make you more sick and make your illness last longer. Plus, our bodies can develop an immunity to antibiotics, making them less effective the next time you take them. So for that reason, if a doctor recommends that you take an antibiotic, always ask them, What bacteria are you trying to kill? Or what specific bacteria are you treating? Because there should always be an answer. Sinus headache, facial tenderness, fever, sore throat. Yep, I have sinusitis. Now, is this viral? The majority of sinusitis cases are indeed caused by a virus, and the best way to differentiate it from a bacterial infection is time. So if symptoms have not improved in a week and a half or have gotten substantially worse, an antibiotic may be in your future. These over-the-counter drugs I've been taking for 10 days don't seem to be working. I'd better make an appointment to see Dr. Branner just to be sure. My fever is up to 101. My lymph nodes are swollen. Are those spots on my tonsils? Oh no, is this strep throat? Do I need antibiotics? Sore throats are caused by a lot of things, and in 90% of cases in adults, a virus is to blame for the cause of the throat pain. I tell my patients, you're just like everybody else. Strep throat is going around, and usually sore throat is going around. You just heard from your friend at the bus stop that they weren't feeling good. But no one wants to tell you that they went to the doctor and got tested and it was negative. I shouldn't just assume it's strep. Let me try this cough medicine first. If the symptoms are still here in 10 days, or if I have a fever that lasts for a few days, I'll get tested for bacterial strep throat. I'm coughing a lot. It makes my throat hurt too. Is it caused by a bacteria or a virus? Sore throats happen. If you're a healthy non-smoker, that inflammation is almost always coming from a virus. Your doctor's exam will help decide whether there is anything specific that could be bacterial. I feel awful. I better call my doctor. If it's caused by a bacteria, he can prescribe an antibiotic, and if it's viral, he can at least make a recommendation to have me feeling better soon. Now you know the difference between a virus and a bacteria, and at what point medical intervention can step in to provide relief. Your doctor can help review your symptoms and recommend the best and most safe treatment.